Hi friends, here is a TTK bootstrap window. In this window, we have set the interactive to true so we can change the value of it and the moment I am increasing the value beyond 30, the, it is, the color is changing and again I am just moving it further and it is moment it crosses 60, again it is going like it is entered to the warning range or now once I move it beyond 90, it is I am showing it, it is it has gone to a danger zone. So this is a way even when I am I can reduce it also. Moment I reduce it also, its color changes. This is how we are managing the boot style based on the value. We'll learn how to do this. We'll start from here. This is our bootstrap uh, library TTK bootstrap library we are importing, then some constants we are importing so because we'll be using different uh, our boot styles or the colors we'll be using. Here is the blank window, my underscore w, we have given the name of our parent window, then the width and height 400 by 300, we have fixed it. So let me just write it here, width and height. So now on this we'll add our uh, meter. So for that I'm saying m1 equal to ttk dot meter now certain parameters will fix it first my underscore w now this is the parent window then amount use amount use let's start with 10 lower side then meter size meter size will keep it as uh, 300 meter size is 300 then this is the in this is the size of the meter where in a if it is accommodated within a square box the each side will be or you can say it's the diameter of the uh, circle now meter thickness this is the dial thickness this is the dial thickness will be meter uh, thickness let's fix it as 40 you can change these values now interactive interactive will set it as true because with through mouse we are going to operate it so interactive we have kept it too and meter type this is the important this earlier in the previous tutorial we have not discussed this meter type is semi or circular it is so i will give meter type we will set it as semi so a half curved bottom side open like that it will open up s e m i semi so this is the one now the important is boot style now let me just come to the next line i will say boot style now what is the initial because this boot style property or uh, we'll, we are going to change it based on the value what it is but initially what should be i am giving success the green one the green zone or the green color because the amount used is 10 so i am giving it success so beyond uh, again this particular parameter will be changing now let's place it on a grid so m1 dot grid now this is the only element so there is no problem i'll write row 0 column equal to 0 i can write 1 1 also so let it be pad x equal to let's uh, not plus it with the left edge gives gap of 60 and pad y from the top will give a gap of 10 so pad y pad x we have placed it now the important thing is whenever there is a change in the uh, meter value then it should trigger a function so for that we'll say m1 dot amount used var now this is the it's like a uh, our integer variable so it has a trace method this trace method we are saying that w means whenever this value is changed other things are uh, when it is created or it is destroyed or assigned to a null so this three condition now whenever this value is changed that is means the w means that you run a function my update where is this my update we are not yet written it we'll write it that one so now this all this line will trigger every time i am changing the value of this particular uh, uh, meter then this function will be triggered now if i'll run it i'll get the error what i will do just to check it how this looks i'll just comment this this line and saving this and okay save this and let's run this and see how the our meter works now of course will, there will not be any change in color so let me just see this i think i have previous one is not open yeah let me close this again okay I, i'll close this also yeah once more now let me once more i'll run it yeah here it is so now you can see this is the interactive one but there is no change in color because i have not programmed it so far i can just uh, see how my meter is working let us close this and go for the function. So before that, let me put this in line. 
remove the comment so my update now i will be writing the function my update so defining the function my update upd now i'll receive all the arguments so now inside this function i will run multiple if condition or if and elif conditions so for that first let me start if m1 that means meter 1 what parameter i am checking amount used amount used amount used is less than or equal to 30 so this condition then what happens is now you will see m1 boot style this is the boot style is the which receives the boot style parameter i can change it to all the list of uh, here is the list of that uh, all para available parameter there are around eights are there so i'll put it because uh, it's less than 30 so let me just match it with success so i am saying success now if it is not so then elif elif means if first if condition is failed then this if it is successful then it will not go there so it is elif m1 now again amount used this i will put it okay amount used now this is less than equal to 60 if it is true then m1 now sorry m1 uh, boot style boot style equal to now you can change this color i am just telling primary so this is from up to 60 from 31 till 60 this is the primary will be there if you want you can change it to some other color now one more elif elif m1 now again amount used it is less than equal to 90 now this is the warning zone or you if you want some other uh, sorry here i have to close it 90 okay now m1 boot style again this style i am associating with uh, sorry success primary now i will give it as warning warning now if suppose none of this that means it is uh, beyond that less than equal to 90 beyond 90 so i am giving it anything else else no i leave directly else m1 boot style equal to danger so that red font will red color will come so this is all the distribution now that's all let's just save this okay now why so much gap okay fine this is what has uh, come up so once i am changing this this line will be executed and it will trigger my update my update function based on what is the amount used is based on that it will set the property boot style so let's just run this and see here it is now 10 i am increasing 12 19 20 29 31 success now this is sorry 30 now why it is not changing the color would uh, let me just or is it not triggering uh, m1 amount uh, amount used var Oh, sorry here i have did a mistake amount total var not total var that's also another amount used var amount used var this is the should be the this value i am ching, checking so let me run it again let's see now what happens i am changing 20 25 20, 20 30 so moment i have crossed 30 you just see that it has changed to the color now let me for our understanding let me just take it up success primary let me bring it here so i am just go going crossing moment i am crossing 60 it is its color should change 60 it is so it is warning that means that yellow color now once i cross 90 then it should be in the danger zone yeah so this is the red up to 100 it is like so this is how the different range based on the amount used value i can change the uh, boot style and give different different colors that's all this is the one application next we'll move how we can two uh, meters can follow each other any one i am changing the other one will change then we'll move how we can connect it to a text uh, uh, 
text field so whenever i am typing any uh, text there or entering any character accordingly based on the number of characters you entered the color will also will change all these applications and more will discuss it i will just request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching